News OK's Press Row with the Oklahomans Barry Trammell and Jenny Carlson is powered by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. I'm Barry Trammell, and Bedlam basketball Saturday in Stillwater just, a, just got a whole lot more interesting. You've got a couple teams that won on Wednesday, but the first one we didn't really expect. OU continues that winning streak. From the Opoco Studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching the Press Row. I'm Jenny Carlson. Press Row is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Barry, a game you got to see in person on Wednesday afternoon, that rescheduled Baylor game. OU wins. They continue to win. Who wins on Saturday in Bedlam? Well, I think it's going to be very interesting because, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you thought, well, OSU will win easy in Stillwater. After the events of the last couple of weeks where OU's gotten hot, OSU's played poorly, you think Sooners might go up to Stillwater and win. After yesterday, you got to say, hey, both of these teams uh, have something to say for themselves. So I think it's going to be an interesting game. Sooners have remade their season. This is a, this is a squad that looked like it might get two or three Big 12 wins. They're four and three in the Big 12 and tied for third. Now, no doubt about it, the OU schedule has uh, been soft to this point. It really stiffens up after this. Be difficult for Oklahoma to, to stay in the upper division, but the Sooners are playing much better. But I was encouraged by Oklahoma State last night handling that Missouri uh, pressure. Uh, Ray Penn got back in the good graces of Travis Ford. That makes all the difference in the world. Still took some crazy shots. Still didn't produce a lot offensively, but he played solid, uh, a solid floor game, directed the Cowboys, few turnovers, beat that pressure. Uh, I think that bodes very well for OSU. I'm much more confident about the Cowboys than I was before last night. Well, I'll tell you what, after that afternoon game on Wednesday when OU beats Baylor and you've got a little lull before Oklahoma State plays Missouri, for those few hours there, I was picking OU to win. Uh, you know, Oklahoma State goes on the road last weekend to Texas Tech, a really abysmal Texas Tech team, and loses in Lubbock in overtime, just unable to, uh, to not foul, to, to hit shots. They got a ton of shots in Lubbock over the weekend, I think 74, and only made a third of those shots, just not playing very well offensively. So for those couple hours in the late afternoon and early evening, I thought OU would win in Bedlam, but for Oklahoma State to come out, beat Missouri, and uh, you know, build a nice lead and then hold off Missouri when you know they could have folded, they could have said, Well, here we go again, you know, uh, down the stretch, but they didn't. They hung in there, they did what they needed to do. I think at home in Bedlam, unless one team is clearly superior to the other, you have to go with the home team. So I'm going with Oklahoma State on Saturday. But I think this becomes a lot better game, a lot more interesting game with what we've seen over the last few days. Well, I agree. And, and here's the deal. We, the, when you look at these teams, uh, really look at them, they're not as bad as the, they appeared to be. The Sooners actually have some parts. Freshman Cameron Clark goes for 25 yesterday, a solid, solid game against Baylor. Uh, point guard Carl uh, uh, Blair had not played well at all this season and, and really played a nice game with 19 points, 7 assists, uh, did a very nice job. It's, if he grows into a good point guard, then this Sooner team uh, takes on a different look because the three primary scorers, Fitzgerald, K. Davis, uh, Stephen Pledger did not play that well offensively against Baylor. Meanwhile, in Stillwater, Darrell Williams with a monster game, a double-double uh, on the inside. Marshall Moses is solid, and the two wing guys are always capable, uh, Jean-Paul Lukimi and, and also, of course, uh, Markel Brown. So the teams are starting to put some parts together, and I'm, uh, I'm more encouraged about both of these teams than I was. I agree. I think OSU has the favorite because they're uh, at Stillwater. Uh, I think the crowd will be rocking, and uh, so I think the Cowboys have the edge because of the home, uh, the, uh, home court. But this is a lot more interesting game than it was just a few days ago when I couldn't get excited about mm -hmm. Bedlam. I don't know if anybody could, but I tell you what, going into this uh, three-game stretch of which now OSU has played two, uh, talking with John Helsley on our uh, OU basketball show, you know, we said those three games, Oklahoma State needs to at least go 2-1-1. And, and I got to tell you, after they lost at Lubbock, I thought these guys and their NCAA tournament hopes are, are in trouble. I mean, they're, they're, they're maybe out the door at this point because you don't see a team reversing course so quickly from a loss at Lubbock against a really awful tech team, beating Missouri and then winning Bedlam. But now I think they've got a legitimate shot to finish this three-game stretch 2-1 and one, to resurrect those NCAA tournament hopes. And 
I don't think Oklahoma is an NCAA tournament team, but keep winning games in the Big 12, Barry, and I think they got an outside shot at an NIT berth. And for this team in a year when you really thought disaster could be out there, that would be quite an accomplishment. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma. <laughs>